Hey what's up guys, Accounts Vision here. In this video we're going to go over absorption cost statement. First we're going to learn what absorption costing is and then we can look at the five steps. So what is absorption cost? It is basically a cost that is absorbed into one unit cost. And that unit cost is made out of fixed costs and variable costs. So for example, the information on the question could give you like direct materials, could be direct labor or overhead absorption rate. To calculate the overhead absorption rate, we're going to use this formula here, which is budgeted overheads divided by the budgeted activity, which will give you overhead absorption rate, which you can use it to combine it with the other costs. And by combining the costs, you'll be able to calculate the absorption costs. And also for overhead absorption rate, you'll be able to calculate whether the cost is under or over absorbed, which I'll explain in this video. So what are the five steps? Well, step one is to calculate the overhead absorption rate. Step two is to calculate the absorption cost. Step three is to calculate the inventory units. Step four is to calculate the inventory and production values. And step five is to calculate under or over absorption. Okay, so let's look at an example. Let's say a phone manufacturer started producing a new model of phone. Their fixed overheads per month is 10,000 pounds. Their budgeted activity level is 5,000 units. Their selling price is 30 pounds. Direct materials, 5 pounds. Direct labor, 10 pounds. Sales and production figures for 2020 are as follows and there will be no opening imagery in January 2020 and the question asked us to prepare absorption cost and statement. So let's see how this works. Step 1 is to calculate the overhead absorption rate so we're going to use these two figures here 10,000 pounds and 5,000 units because it says overheads and activity level so we're going to write 10,000 pounds divide that by the 5,000 units and that's going to give us overhead absorption rate of two pounds so we're going to write overhead absorption rate step two is to calculate the absorption cost so we're going to combine the fixed cost and variable cost together so this part is variable cost and this part is fixed cost so we're going to write direct materials direct labor and overhead absorption rate direct materials is five pounds direct labor is ten pounds and overhead absorption rate which we have calculated is two pounds and by adding all this together, it's going to give us £17, and that £17 is the absorption cost. Step 3 is calculate the inventory units. Here we're going to create some columns, one for the months and one for the inventories. So the opening inventory for January is going to be zero because it says there's no opening inventory in January 2020. So we're going to write zero. For production, it's going to be 2500 and the cost of sales will be 2000 and to calculate the closing inventory we're going to do opening inventory plus production minus closing inventory which will give us cost of sales so the missing figure here is going to be 500 units and that 500 units will be the beginning inventory for February so we're going to write that down there the production units for February is going to be 4000 and the cost of sales will be 3000 and to get the closing inventory it's going to be we're going to have to do opening inventory plus production minus closing inventory which will give us cost of sales and that missing figure here is going to be 1500 and that's step 3 done step 4 is to calculate the inventory and production values and it's basically this I've done this just to save you guys some time all you need to do is do step 2 times step 3 and that's going to give you this figure here so for example 17 pounds times 2500 that's going to give you 42,500 pounds and step 5 is to calculate under or over absorption so here we're going to start off with budgeted overheads it's going to be 10,000 pounds per month so that's from here 10,000 pounds per month and we're going to do some working so we're going to use the overhead absorption rate and the production units for january and february starting with january we're going to do 2500 times two pounds which will give us five thousand pounds and for february we're going to do four thousand units times two pounds and that's going to give us eight thousand pounds so we're going to write five thousand pounds and £8,000. These are basically the costs, just to let you guys know. And now we're going to work out the difference. So the difference here is going to be £5,000, and for February it's going to be £2,000. So what does this mean? Basically, if something is underabsorbed, it's when the business did not include all the costs. So the extra £5,000 here, you see will need to be included as a cost to match the budgeted cost which is the £10,000 
So we're going to have to debit that in an income statement and the same for the one for February. However, if something is oversold, it basically means that the business included too much of a cost which is over the budget. So for example, it could be £15,000 which is greater than the budgeted overheads and that will need to be credited in the income statement. So now we can prepare the absorption cost statement starting with sales. To calculate the sales, we're going to use the selling price which is £30 times the these units here which will give us the total sales so to do the workings we're going to do 30 pounds times 2,000 units which will give us 60,000 pounds for January and if we do the same for February it will give us 90,000 pounds next we're going to write the inventory flows these figures here are from step 4 I did this just to save you guys some time all you need to do is transfer these figures here that you have calculated to the absorption costing statement and once you've done that you can then work out the gross profit the gross profit for January is going to be £26,000 and for February it's going to be £39,000 next we're going to use the under or over absorption in this case it's going to be under absorption because the cost the actual cost is less than the budgeted cost so we're going to write we're going to include that as a cost so we're going to write five thousand pounds for january and two thousand pounds for february so we're going to have to include that as a cost and that's going to give us a net profit for january of twenty one thousand pounds and for february it's going to be thirty seven thousand pounds just like that and by applying the five steps you'll be able to answer any questions involving absorption costing statement and if you found this video useful give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this every week thank you for watching